Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back once again with Destiny 2. We are officially going to be wrapping up our Nason Dawn quest. This is our fifth and final part of the quest here. This one will be for the Polaris Lance Catalyst Reward. This last part is six steps long. Alright, so I'm currently at the uh, cache um, uh, step right now. <laughs> oh, and somebody's broadcasting BUBG. Okay, so, I will tell you the steps as of right now, and of course you need to complete the first four steps uh, in order to uh, go for the catalyst right here. Okay, so, in part number five of the Nason Dawn quest line here, there's six steps here, and I'll explain the first three as of right now. So, your first step... <coughs> Yeah, clear my throat here. First step here. First step is to get 15, one five, 15 multi kills with the javelin, aka Valkyrie, whichever one <laughs> suits your style. So, 15 multi kills with the Valkyrie slash javelin. So it has to be two or more enemies to initiate the multi kill with the Valkyrie. Your best bet to do this is uh, either the war sat down public event or escalation protocol so any of those two public events will work okay once you get 15 multi kills you'll move on over to the next step which is to complete any three pvp matches so it could be quick play it could be competitive anything any three pvp matches complete them and um, you'll get it done just like that now for step number three you'll need to uh, complete the complete the campaign mission which is strange terrain recommended power for that one will be uh, 340 okay so step three is to complete strange terrain that's the campaign mission not the strike mission the campaign mission of strange terrain recommended power is 340. Once you get that done, you'll go to the fourth step here, which is to find the sleeper node cache, which is found in Alton Dynamo. Now I'll show you the location right now. Now how to get there, you'll you'll need to fast travel here to Glacial Drift, and then uh, make your way to the left hand side here. Follow this route up to Dynamo Approach, and keep left until you reach Alton Dynamo. Now I'll show you the rest of the location and the rest of the route right here. And you can skip ads if you want to. <coughs> I have to clear my throat again. And my apologies for the fan being on because it is just so hot outside. <laughs> We're halfway through the summer holidays, finally. Man, I just want the colder weather to come. Now you'll have to keep right right here. And just keep going straight ahead. Oh, we gotta, gotta deal with the night first. Hold on. And so much thrall. <laughs> well, that was nice. Now keep going straight ahead. And there is the cache right here. So collect your loot. There you go. Now, we're not done just yet. Uh, let's see, four minutes in, so that's not too bad. So now, uh, that was the fourth, fourth of six steps right here. So now, we're going to be uploading our fifth and final memory. Okay, so this is uh, step number five. Let's make our way over to uh, Braytech Futurescape. Fast travel over there. Man, I'm I'm so happy to get this Nathan Don quest line done. Thank heavens. And uh, as far as the Solstice armor set goes, I am gonna be grinding until it's nothing. Cause the, it's gonna be a lot of hard work. I know. Oh, I got an instrument here. Oh. Okay. Sorry, I had an itch on my ear right here. Okay.
Okay, so we got those four steps done, and now we're gonna go ahead and upload the memory. And it is this one right here. Let's socket the diary right here. Okay. And we get our fifth and final transcript, which is the ghost synapse. <clears throat> okay. How does human intelligence actually work? Well, it's by biological definition is thinking. That's in quotation marks right here. So that's your last transcript. And now we go to the sixth and final part. Okay. Alright. Let's visit Anna Bray once more to get our reward. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Ace and Dawn quest is officially over. It's the last diary entry. Okay, there it is. There's the Polaris Lance Catalyst. Well, I can definitely say this mission accomplished. See you later. Okay, so let's uh, let's have a look at the catalyst here. Actually, go to the helm in the ear. It's three, six, eight. Now we'll just infuse it to this guy very quickly. Okay, so let's see. It is right here. There it is. There's the um, Polaris Lance right here. Let's go ahead and upgrade the weapon. Okay. So again, this weapon will also gain a tracker that displays the number. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Apply. There we go. Oh, so again, uh, precision kills will create an elemental damage explosion. Okay, so let's see. To upgrade the masterwork, you'll need to complete these two objectives. Um, defeat enough enemies just to get to 100%. And it's a uh, perfect fifth kills. Okay, so that's going to be one big grind. You'll need 50 of those to complete the catalyst and get the um, defeat enemies bar to 100% just to get it done. But there you go. We got the catalyst for sure. And that's the end of the quest. So thank you very much for joining us, everybody. I will be posting the steps in the description box below in case you guys forget. But man, oh man, that, that was definitely a big grind. But the grinding is never over yet, folks. We have... We still gotta do the Spire Stars right there. I haven't even done it yet. Um, still gotta do Black Spindle. Man, oh man, I got a lot of work to do before we do Forsaken. So thanks again for joining us on this wonderful ride in Destiny 2 and all the gameplay content, and we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Catch you next time.